Hello there, and today we're going to work on adding variety in, into our, our map and our world just to start building up what we see and what we can do. So one of the things that, that I've done is I, I've gone ahead and uh, improved the sprites that we had for like the tree, for a tree. And this just takes some practice and uh, getting used to it. Um, you may be able to find sprat, sprite assets somewhere else online that might have variety. I went ahead and took our, our basic triangle tree, added some an additional colors and some depth to it. Um, then I created copies of those trees, but you just right click and do, do a duplicate. And then once you duplicate it, you can go back in and edit it. Um, what I did was go in and Just created some variation of the same triangle, changed the base a little, added some light at the top, and, and darkened it at the bottom just more for um, to keep the the general shape. Keep it give it some more variety. And you can do this with as many trees, different types of trees as you want. Um, but I'm gonna stick with the three for right now. Um, as you can see, I also took the third one and just gave it a little more variety as well and, and different shape. So what we can do then is in our room, we still have, let's see, get rid of this. As you can see, when we place the, what, what I'm going to do is we still have the tree object. And so we can place still place trees wherever we want, but what we're going to do is uh, change how it will generate where everything is located. So we'll, you get a general layout of, of what you might want, um, add some more trees in there, kind of like a, like a little grove. Um, you can add the, the blocking in whether or not you want to be able to have the, the character walk through there or not. So what we're going to do is that with these tree objects that we had created before, we're going to go in and uh, in our create event, we're going to uh, create a, a choice of what actually is going to be displayed. So you can do that. using the ch choose option and then just list out each different sprite you might want to pick from for variety. And you can do this with as many different trees as you, you might want. Or as many different sprites. The other option to do this would be to make take one just one sprite object And create multiple frames. And for reference, we'll uh, change the color here a second. And what I'm doing is just doing a replace of the, all the same color. Um, there, there's a tool over here that will replace every pixel that has the same color. So I'm just going to change this to a, to a blue tree for, for right now. That's good, darkly.
Yeah, it's with two different colors there. One thing we're going to do before we try that is when, when you select from a, a set of sprites in the same sprite object, so when you have a series of there, you want to make sure if you're going to uh, pick different ones, you're going to want to make sure your image is not uh, changing, so you change your image speed to zero. So the first one will just be a variety of picking the different types of objects so we can see it. So there we have some different things you can different things we can look at. Just a variety that we can see. The other one would be to Keep the same same one and change the index. So which which of the frames we're actually referencing? So we can change that by saying do an i random range, which would be the integers. So picking the different frames. So it'd be the first frame to the highest, which would be um, so is that correct? Sprite get number. Double check that here. Okay, it returns the number of sub images in the sprite. So, yep, that's the one we want. And so, if this chain returns two, we want to make sure this is going to be always be one less. So, now we run this. So we are going to change x images. There we go. So now we have it picks through the different the different types of colors that we have within our sprite. So there's two two different options. One where you can have the different object objects listed throughout the entire entire list, and then one where you're picking from a series of, of sub images. So those are two different ways to pick and add add some variety to your to your role. Um, until next time, good luck coding. Thanks. Hello there, and the last time we left off, we were uh, just finished up being able to move behind objects and have it show up in the field of view. So today we're going to work on character movement speed.